What's up everybody, I'm the Mangoose, you are awesome, and Overprime is dropping tomorrow. I know everyone is hyped, but I have some concerns. They're concerns I've voiced before, but I really need to clarify. The last thing I want to do is mislead people into thinking that they can just log into Overprime and start playing against others. I also need to talk once again about console release and why it currently is not feasible for any of these companies right now. The two subjects kind of go hand in hand. First off, my main concern with Overprime, it's peer-to-peer -peer only. You're not going to be able to just log in tomorrow, queue up matchmaking, and find a game. You'll have to either join someone else's game hosted on their computer, or host the game yourself. So your choices are relying on someone else's connection and trusting that they won't just end the game, or giving your IP out to a bunch of strangers. If you have 9 other people that you trust, that's not really a problem. But I really wanted to host some games for my subscribers and look for any way that I could possibly do so without compromising my personal security. The only half decent way to do it is by investing in a VPN, but then you'll have degraded performance for everyone in the match and it's still really not that safe. On top of that, there are several things you need to do in order to host like opening certain ports and such. Not a big deal, I'm willing to do that. But what I'm not willing to do is share my IP with 11,000 people. I love you guys, I really do. But there's no way in hell that out of that many people, there aren't a couple of shady motherfuckers. Getting swatted would be the least of my concerns in that scenario. These are the reasons that Overthrow never really took off, and I'm betting that it will also hold Overprime back. They really need some funding for servers, but if they do open some way for people to donate, you'll have to decide if Overprime is worth your money, or if you want to see where Fault goes or wait to see what Predecessor has been able to accomplish, or see what Core has been up to. It's the same old problem, too many companies making para zombies, splitting attention and funding. And I'll say this right now, none of these games are better than the others at this point in time. Each one has unique qualities that the others lack. That brings us to console release. I've covered this so many times, but it's still the number one question everyone has. When or will it release on console? It's an important question. It's kind of understood that whichever game comes to PlayStation first will have exponentially greater success than the others. PlayStation players were the backbone of the Paragon community. Us PC players were just kind of a bonus. So in reality, it doesn't even really matter which game is the overall best. The one that establishes itself with Sony as an intellectual property will kick the shit out of the other games as far as player base size goes. So why not just skip the PC step and go straight for PlayStation? For one, these are indie companies with very little money, and the PlayStation dev kit costs anywhere from $2,500 to $5,000. For the minimum cost of a dev kit, you can run 250 servers for a month. 250 servers can support 2,500 players at a time. Since people play at different times, you can reasonably assume that you're going to get way more than 2,500 players worth of data from those servers. Probably more like six to 7,000 players, if not more. That's a lot of valuable bug and balance testing you can get for your game to make sure that it works. Or you can buy a dev kit straight away, still have to pay for servers, and release your game to a judgmental community without having any clue if it works on that scale. So as you can see, if Soul Eve can't afford to run servers, they sure as hell can't afford a dev kit. It really sucks for console players. Sucks for me too, because I want to play with my old Paragon buddies. But the fact of the matter is that it's easier, cheaper, and safer to develop on PC before thinking about porting to console. I don't want to be all doom and gloom here, but I do want to be realistic. I'm sure that you'll be able to find and enjoy some great games tomorrow if you have a PC. Hell, some of you will be happy just to run around on the map with one of your favorite heroes, farming minions and destroying towers. There is enjoyment to be had with the release of Overprime. I just want to make sure that I'm not overhyping the game and misleading people into thinking that Paragon is back and that they can experience the game exactly like they used to. Sorry if that bursts anyone's bubble, but I need to be real about things. This is the Mangoose signing off. You guys have a good one. Mangoose!